Hi everyone, just uh, doing going to do a short video here to describe and to show how I make the, um, how I painted the hexagon camouflage pattern on this tank here. This is a grav tank here. This is for the game Grunts 15 millimeter. So it's a 15 millimeter grav tank. Uh, you can see a figure here for scale reference, big a big super heavy tank and I'm going to be using uh, this hex pattern stencil on this VTOL gunship type of model here this is a Karasin model this is also a Karasin model that's also a Karasin 50 millimeter figure apologize for the, the and my workbench sloppiness right now, but that's the state of it at the time uh, of this filming. So that's what you get. I'm also going to um, to demonstrate the hexagon pattern on this support vehicle. I've got a heavy weapon support vehicle here. This is a Car Wars model that I just got as part of that pledge drive. And it just happens to be a really good scale for, for 15 millimeter here. Works, I think, pretty well. These uh, stencils are this set of stencils I got. This is hexagon, two different sizes, as you can see. I got those from uh, Amazon, from Airsick. And what's cool about this package that I got is it comes with a couple different um, interesting looking t stencils. There's the hexagon one, but this one right here, the triangles, looks like something I'm gonna, gonna try uh, at some point. I think that'll work out really well for maybe a larger vehicle, maybe a gunship. And this Harlequin pattern, diamond pattern, looks pretty interesting too. So I'll um, practice and then see what I can do with those at some time. I'm just using, uh, actually, I'm not, these are made for, these stencils are made for airbrushing, but I'm not using them with airbrushing. I'm using just the Tamiya Colors spray, uh, spray painting. And as you can see, you can, you can, if you're careful, you can get it to come out really nice. So I do have to go over with a brush. The, um, the fine hexagon uh, edging there between the hexagons. I do have to do that. First, I put down a, a base coat of this Tamaya. This is a yellow sand, a dark yellow, a dark yellow. And I'm using here on top of that, just an olive drab two. Okay, so I'm going to do this in short segments. This is what I'm starting with. I've got the the primer down and I've got the base coat of the dark yellow on both vehicles I'm going to work with. And next I'm going to take you to show you how to do um, placement on here of the hexagons.